Coming up on the Sioux Cimarau Show. Florida State women's basketball team has five players scoring 10 or more points a game and leads the HTC in scoring. What is the secret to this team's success? One of the major changes this season has been the addition of new point guard Cheetah Delgado. How has the junior transfer overcome personal tragedy to achieve success on and off the court? Family is deeper than DNA for Alexa Deluzio. We'll profile the redshirt senior as she leaves her mark at Florida State. These stories and more on the Sue Simmerow Show, a special edition of Seminole Sports Magazine, presented by AT&T. Welcome to the Sue Simmerow Show, presented by AT&T. Alongside Coach Sue, I'm Ryan Pensy, and Coach, the Knolls coming off of a huge win over the North Carolina Tar Heels, and once again, kind of the, the theme this season, a balanced attack. No kidding. I tell you, it's so exciting to be able to have four or five kids scoring in double figures. I think it just makes it so difficult for our opponents to scout us. And, you know, for those kids to step up, game in and game out, I, I just can't say enough. The Seminoles got big point production once again from Chelsea Davis and Leonor Rodriguez, but it's not just those two seniors. The Seminoles have five players averaging in double figures. Let's take a closer look at how the Seminoles are getting such a balanced scoring production. Basketball is a team game, a game of passes and screens. Almost every team has a go-to player. FSU has five. We really talk about roles and everyone needs to play their role for our team to be great. Senior guard Leonor Rodriguez is a three-point threat and a playmaker. She can pass and shoot, and her name is eighth in the Knowles record books for threes. Senior guard Alexa Deluzio is a free throw wizard. Last year, she set the FSU single season record for free throw percentage. She can make mid-range jumps and drive the ball all the way to the basket. Oh, Junior Howard. forward Natasha Howard is a rebounding there. machine. Rebound, another attempt, that one falls! A fierce defender and a recipient of the Blue Ribbon Panel preseason All-ACC team. Guard Chelsea Davis is a mean offensive blocker, notorious for her baby hook shot and is the low block that the Knolls need. Senior forward Chastity Clayton is the most athletic. Clayton is the best at running up and down the court and puts pressure on the defensive end. Florida State's women's basketball is the only team with five players scoring 10 or more points a game. While I spoke with the girls, I realized the star of the team wasn't a specific athlete, but rather their selflessness. You know, I think it's part of the culture at Florida State. I, I think you look back at uh, the, the teams that we've had in the past, and we've always been extremely versatile, uh, selfless in sharing the basketball. And I think this team uh, in particular buys into the fact that uh, you know, it really doesn't matter who gets the credit. Uh, as far as the success goes. And so that being said, a different person might step up one night uh, versus another, and it's been very successful for us this year. Florida State's women's basketball team puts up 80 points a game, making them third scoring in the nation. It is without a doubt that their love and unselflessness towards one another makes this team unique. Coach Sue Simrau makes sure to instill values that Florida State has cherished for years. I think it's because our goal is the same, is that whatever is best for the team. So we want to find the best shot. And we don't care who takes the credit or who scores. We just care that in the scoreboard, FSU is winning against somebody else. I think that we don't play um, together for so long and we nobody really cares who you know, comes out with the, the most points or, you know, who gets to shine. I think we all just want to genuinely win. And that's, it doesn't matter if you, if I score the basket or if Leo scores the basket or if Chelsea scores the basket, it doesn't matter as long as it contributes to us getting a win. With women's basketball ranked in top 20, the Knowles understand what makes them successful. What's their secret? Share the ball. I'm Annalise Aviles for Seminole Sports Magazine.
Coach, as we close in on the end of conference play, it certainly looks like the Seminoles are going to be rewarded with some players on the first, second, third team. I mean, this team this year is a true team effort, but there are some individual awards coming. Well, certainly. And I tell you what, our point guards just don't get enough credit. You know, I try to credit them every time, but everybody wants to talk about, boy, all these kids are in double figure scoring. Great, great. There's a lot of kids that are on the receiving end of facilitators like Cheetah Delgado and Morgan Tolls. Along with Morgan Tolls, Cheetah Delgado has been one of the emotional leaders of this team. When we come back, we'll take a closer look at the Cheetah on the floor as we continue on the Sue Simmerow Show presented by AT&T. Seminole Sports Magazine is presented by AT&T, the nation's largest 4G network. AT&T, rethink possible. By Coke Zero, football-related chest bumps, high fives, and trash talk brought to you by Coke Zero. Enjoy everything. Welcome back to Seminole Sports Magazine presented by AT&T. Coach, when you went out and you got uh, Cheetah Delgado last year, did you have any idea of just how dynamic a player she would become? You know, I did have an idea, Ryan, but she has exceeded all my expectations. I you know, I really think I was naive early on uh, not recruiting her at the fir in the first place to come to Florida State out of high school. You know, I figured somebody who was five foot two maybe wouldn't be able to handle the size of the ACC, but boy, has her speed proven me completely wrong. She's dynamic, she's exciting, she's reliable, and I absolutely love coaching her. A perfect name for her, Cheetah Delgado. She's become an instant fan favorite. Here's a closer look at how Delgado has battled back from adversity to star for the Knowles. It's hard to miss Yashira Delgado on the Florida State court. With every shot and every assist, she's a force to be reckoned with. In only her first year at Florida State, Yashira, better known as Cheetah, is a star on the women's basketball team. Delgado goes into the tall trees, off the glass and in. She kicks the glass. People were always like, Cheetah, take a picture of you, Cheetah. I mean, she's kind of famous. Like, I mean, I love Cheetah. She is somebody that really moves so well laterally and can move the ball equally as fast, and I think that makes her exciting. The junior point guard has racked in more than 100 assists so far this season. She also stands as one of the top rebounders for the Knolls, even at the height of five foot two. But despite her success on the court, she's dealt with a personal tragedy off it. At first, you know, I was young. It was hard and I was, you know, of course, upset about it. Cheetah's dedication in the game brought her here all the way to Florida State. But in 2009, that all could have changed when her mother, Marianne, passed away from breast cancer. And when she first passed away, I just asked why and I didn't understand, but, you know, I grew up going to church and uh, constantly my grandmother, my dad, you know, they tell me it happens for a reason. Cheetah's mom battled for more than five years. She went through chemotherapy and surgeries. Her strength during her treatments inspired Cheetah to continue to play. She used to go from chemotherapy and no matter what time she came out, no matter how she felt, she was there regardless and it really showed a lot to me. After the death of her mother, Cheetah turned to her family for support. Together, as a family, they began to heal. Basketball came back into her life with the help of her father, Felix. It was Felix who taught her the game. He also gave her the nickname. My dad thought it was from Yashira, as in Shira, and then since I was playing basketball and I was pretty quick, uh, people just started calling me Cheetah. I grew up going to the park watching my dad play since we were really young. And uh, it was just a lot more competitive, more physical, playing with guys. I was always a lot smaller. So it just made me better, made me quicker. And then coming out to play with girls when I had to around the middle school age, it was a lot easier. By playing with boys, she gained a competitive flair. She's just a, a spark. She's fire. And in a point guard, that spark spreads throughout the team. And it makes a huge difference. Big three by the smallest player on the floor. Cheetah wasn't recruited by Florida State out of high school. Instead, she went to the University of Arkansas. After one season, she transferred to Hillsborough Community College. That's where the number five caught the eye of Coach Sue Semrau. Because of some circumstances with her family, her mother passing away uh, from breast cancer, she really had wanted to be home and went home and we got a second chance and uh, boy am I glad we did. 
Cheetah is one of the reasons that FSU is an NCAA contender this year. The glass it in for Delgado. I mean, I just go out and play my hardest every game, come out to practice and do what the coaches want me to do, and hopefully the rest of the team does the same and we go out there and win and just make it far. Every time Cheetah hits the court, she remembers who she plays in memory for. She plays for the name closest to her heart. I'm Celie Godwin for Seminole Sports Magazine. Very inspirational story, Coach, about Cheetah Delgado and her backcourt teammate, Morgan Tolls, another player who has fought through a lot of adversity and just continues to shine brighter and brighter and has to be one of your best leaders. Well, without a doubt. You know, as somebody that's gone through the type of adversity that, that Morgan Tolls has, you know, suffering multiple concussions in her career and coming back to lead a team, an NCAA tournament-bound team, uh, she's not only exciting, she's not only a great player, but, boy, she's a lot of fun and she's fun on camera. Coach, when you look at those two players, how do Tolls and Delgado play off of each other? Well, you know, both of them have very distinctive games, and I think if they were very, very similar, it would be very difficult. But Morgan is a uh, set it up, but aggressive, uh, fiery defender, whereas Cheetah's got a little more flash to her. And I think the two of them together play off each other in a phenomenal way. Well, Cheetah might have the flash on the court, but Tolls has the flash on the camera. When we come <laughs> back, it's time for another installment of Tolls with the Knowles. We continue on the Sue Simrau Show, presented by AT&T. It's time for Tolls with the Knowles, presented by AT&T. Rethink Possible. And welcome back to another segment of Tolls with the Nose. I'm your host, Morgan Tolls, here with the lovely Natasha Howard. How's, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. All right. We're just going to just talk about a few things that our fans may not know about you. Um, first question, what's your favorite move to do in a basketball game? Get out to the post, posting up, and do the little shimmy, shimmy, turn around, jump shot. The shimmy, shimmy, turn around, jump shot. Yeah, All the, right. the Kevin Durant move. That's cool. I like the Kobe takeoff from the free throw line dunk. I did it, remember last week uh, at practice when yeah. I did that? That was kind of cool. Hurt my ankle, though, so I can't do it anymore. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'll talk about being tall. You know, you're 6'2", you're 6'3". Six six I mean, how is that like? I'm not 6'2". Okay, sorry. I'm 6'3". The paper said. All right. I know, but the doctors say I'm 6'2", but... The doctor's probably right. You just No, the doctor's probably he's wrong. wrong. Okay. So, to me, I'm 6'3". Okay, uh, that's cool. Well, um, good luck with that. So, Toledo. We know you're from Toledo, Ohio, and it's really snowy up there. How is it living up there? Uh, it's fun living up there when it's definitely snowing. Cause I be in the house with my family, drinking on some cho chocolate, <laughs> and watching the NBA games or college games. Okay. All right, snowball fights and like, you know. Yeah, snowball fights. Um, sometimes we play football in the snow, okay. tackle each other. It's, it's painful, right. but that it's fun. rough. Okay. All right, so um, this year we're graduating five seniors. Um, how's that gonna be? What's it gonna be like? And most importantly, I'm leaving. What are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna miss y'all. Oh. Like, no matter what, but y'all leaving, we're gonna have new incomers coming in, and like me and Cheetah gotta step up and be the leaders next year. And like, we're going to still have players just like you, Lex, Leo, Chaz coming in. So we're going to be good. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. What are your plans after college? Um, I hope I get drafted to the WNBA. Right. If not, I go overseas. And then after, after overseas, I might be uh, probably working with kids. OK, cool. I'm still working on my application for SeaWorld. I got a few interviews lined up, so I'll probably be uh, uh, training the SEALs. All right, if you could have one last meal, what would it be? Soul food. Okay. What? Fried chicken, macaroni, greens, okay. sweet potatoes. Black eyed peas. No black eyed peas. Okay, no. Um, sweet like sweet potato, potato, pork chops. Okay, all right, well, that's interesting. Um, say, fans want to know what's uh, something they don't know about you, like a fun fact about Tasha. I want to be a singer. Oh, nice. I want to be an R&B singer. When my basketball career is over with, I'm going to go in the studio. That's really cool. Remember we talked about getting studio time with John? Yeah, this summer, me and yeah. you. Yeah, I'm thinking about coming out with a rap album. So maybe we can kind of like collaborate and stuff. OK. Yeah, so $10 a feature. But we'll talk about that later. OK. All right, speed round. Are you ready? Apples or bananas? Apples. OK. Movies, video games? Both. That's You got you to choose. It doesn't <laughs> work like that. Movies. OK. Um, hip hop or R&B? R&B. Okay. Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Easy. All right. Heels or flats? Flats. <laughs> Kevin Durant or Morgan Tolls? 
Kevin Durant. Why is there all, all right. Good, all right. Um, well, we'll talk about that later. Um, but all right, this is the end of Toes with the Nose. Thanks for tuning in, and um, see you guys later. <laughs> Why is that happening? That's an automatic meet. You say meet, like toes. Oh, I'm sorry. For teammates, man. I look bad on camera. Stay off. Girl. All right, thanks, guys. There you go. When we return to the Sue Simmerow Show presented by AT&T, family is deeper than DNA for guard Alexa Deluzio. We'll profile the redshirt senior as she leaves her mark at Florida State. Seminole Highlights is presented by AT&T, Rethink Possible. Welcome back to the Susan Morales Show presented by AT&T. Coach, you've got two redshirt seniors on your team this year, Chastity Clayton and Alexa Deluzio, and both have provided some leadership guidance from their freshman years all the way until present day. Well, absolutely, and, and both of them are, are well-deserved captains of this team, and I think about what they've done to lead us through so much success early have a bump in the road last year, and then to lead us back to national prominence. I can't say enough about both of those redshirt seniors. For Alexa Deluzio, it's not just been her who has the athletic streak in the Deluzio family. Let's take a closer look at Alexa Deluzio. FSU guard Alexa Deluzio is no stranger to the crowds. For four years, the seniors played in arenas filled with thousands of fans, and with every big shot she made, the crowd grew loud. To Deluzio for three, count it for the Knowles. Head coach Sue Simrao knew Alexa was going to be special from the start. I just remember Lex as a, a young kid that came to our campus in orange shoes, big orange shoes. Uh, she, has, she had these big feet, she was still short. And at that point, just the way she carried herself, you knew that she could be something special, and special she is. You know, she's just developed into one of uh, the most fluent, most well-rounded players that I've coached here at Florida State. Deluzio is a shot maker. Her junior season, she set the FSU single season record for free throw percentage, making nearly 84% of her attempts. And she says Coach Sue's confidence in her is a driving force behind her success. Her confidence in me, uh, especially this year. Um, there's been a few games I've had a, a, you know, a string of games where I haven't shot the way I wanted to shoot, but she'll come up to me and say, "I'm going to pull you out if you don't shoot." And so it's just for a coach to have that kind of confidence in you, um, just on the court and as a person, um, I, I will remember that long past my time here. Coach Sue isn't the only one Alexa pulls her strength from. Her family plays a huge role in her life. Both of her parents make it to nearly every home game, and Alexa has three biological siblings. But when she turned 15, her family doubled overnight. You know, I had three, three siblings, two parents, family of, um, you know, of six, and then we add five more and go from six to 11, and so, um, it was very difficult just to, if you've seen the movie Cheaper by the Dozen, that's really what it was. Like our, our lunches and dinners, it was just, if you didn't get down there in time, there might not be any food left. The kids were all siblings. Their mother had just passed away and without a family willing to adopt them all, they might have been split up. So Alexa's family chose to adopt all five of the children, making their family large enough to be its own basketball team. What made this transition smooth is both families' passion for sports, including Alexa's dad, who played college football. My younger brother, Ben, he's 18. He plays baseball and is actually coming to Florida State um, 
next year to play. And then I have a younger sister, Brenna, who is, she's 13, going on 25, and she is into volleyball. And then my younger brother, Joe, He's 11 and he plays basketball as well. Here at FSU, Alexa's nearly 300 miles away from home, but she's taking a play from her parents' playbook. She's adopting sisters on the court like Chastity Clayton to fill the roles. Chastity, our, our personalities are so different. We, re, we joke and talk all the time about if it wasn't for basketball, we wouldn't we wouldn't ever have became friends because we really have nothing in common other than basketball, but she, we're so different in many different ways that we've grown to respect and, and like our differences in each other. Alexa says basketball at FSU has changed her life for the better, and in return, she wants to give back to the world. You walk by yourself or you walk with somebody? Coming into college, I, I really had no idea what I wanted to do, but I've seen my parents and, and many others, even Crystal's mom before she passed away, just really giving back and changing, being able to change people's lives. And so that was something that I also wanted to be um, a part of. Five adopted siblings, a team she loves, and a passion to help others. Deluzio reminds us all that family really is deeper than DNA. I'm Cole Robertson for Seminole Sports Magazine. Coach, as we get ready to head to Greensboro, North Carolina for the annual ACC tournament, you know you're going to need the leadership of players like Alexa Deluzio and Chelsea Davis and Natasha Howard to go up and do what you want to do this year. Seminoles, though, have already had an opportunity to play in the Greensboro Coliseum. It's got to be a big help this year. Well, certainly. You know, we've stayed in the team hotel. We've played in the arena. You know, we wanted to get familiar. I think it was uh, it's something that... You know, Greensboro's been a tough place for us to play. We wanted to have some, uh, some good feelings going in and to go up and really give it our best shot up there. And uh, certainly we're looking forward to that after this season. The ACC tournament and then the NCAA tournament. Knowles back where they belong. We hope you've enjoyed this installment of the Sue Simmerow Show presented by AT&T. We'll see you back again soon. For Head Coach Sue Simmerow, I'm Ryan Fincy. We'll see you next time.